In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Pax Vobis. Et cum Spiritu Tuum. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. And they devoted themselves to the Apostles' teaching and fellowship to the breaking of bread and the prayers. And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. And all who believed were together and had all things in common. And they sold their possessions and goods and distributed them to all as any had need. And day by day, attending the temple together and breaking bread in their homes, they partook of food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to their number day by day those who were being saved. This is the word of the Lord. Most Holy Father, the English-speaking visitors and pilgrims are happy to have this occasion to express to you their sentiments of respect and esteem and to assure you of their prayers for your ministry as the successor of Peter. Among those present today, in addition to individuals and families, are the following groups. From the United Kingdom, the all-party parliamentary group on the Holy See. From Finland, the solemn choir from the Lutheran Church of Finland. From Australia, students from John the 23rd Catholic College, Perth, Western Australia. There is a group of pilgrims from Nigeria. And from Canada, pilgrims from the Diocese of Hamilton, Ontario, accompanied by Bishop Douglas Crosby. From the United States of America, pilgrims from the Archdiocese of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And students and faculty from St. John's University, Queens, New York. And from St. Mary College, Moraga, California. There is a group of transitional deacons from St. Paul Seminary, St. Paul, Minnesota. At the end of the audience, His Holiness will lead us in singing the Our Father in Latin. The words can be found on the back of your ticket. He will then impart his apostolic blessing, which he willingly extends to the members of your families at home. His Holiness also intends to bless any religious articles he may have brought for this purpose. And in a special way, his blessing goes to your children and to your loved ones who are sick. Dear brothers and sisters, during this week of prayer for Christian unity, all the Lord's followers are asked to implore the gift of full communion. This year's theme, they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers, invites us to reflect on four pillars of unity found in the life of the early church. The first is fidelity to the gospel of Jesus Christ proclaimed by the apostles. The second is fraternal communion, a contemporary expression of which is seen in the growing ecumenical friendship among Christians. The third is the breaking of the bread, also the inability of separated Christians to share the same Eucharistic table is a reminder that we are still far from the unity which Christ wills for his disciples. It is also an incentive to greater efforts to remove every obstacle to set unity. Finally, prayer itself helps us realize that we are children of the one Heavenly Father called to forgiveness and reconciliation. During this week, 
Let us pray that all Christians will grow in fidelity to the gospel, in fraternal unity, and in missionary zeal, in order to draw all men and women into the saving unity of Christ's church. I offer a warm welcome to the students and staff of the Bosse Graduate School of Ecumenical Studies. I thank the choir from Finland for the praise of God in song. To all the English-speaking pilgrims present to this audience, including those from Australia, Canada, and the United States, and an abundance of, an abundance of joy and peace in the Lord. Pater Noster, qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicud in cielo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicud et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos Sit nomen Domini benedictum. Adjutorium nostrum in nomine Domini. Qui feci celum de terra. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. 